Good afternoon, you guys, and happy 4th of July. I hope you guys are having a good one. You guys be safe today. Um, I do have some plans. I did have to go to work today. Uh, I was supposed to be off, <laughs> but I had to go in for a couple of hours. But I want to show, I want to share this. I know it's a holiday. People might be out and about enjoying, but um, uh, it was something that I couldn't explain. And um, I think there was a confirmation of what I was feeling, at least, on last night when this happened. Um, and I'm going to get into it. So last night I came outside and the moon was out, you know, it's a half moon, I guess you can call it. And it wasn't in the place that it was the night before. There's a little bit more behind me as opposed to over here on the right. And I noticed that, you know, the sky was lit up even further down there, you know, and even further down there at night, that part of the sky is red. I've been meaning to take some video, like a pink red. But but last night, I was just noticing that, of course, I can see the clouds more in the nighttime here recently in the last few months than I do in the uh, daytime. So, you know, I'm seeing white clouds and I'm looking at the moon and all of a sudden the moon, I could see the white clouds, but the moon got dark and there were no gray clouds that I could see. You know, I'm thinking, okay, well maybe the gray clouds are covering up the the moon but I'm still seeing white clouds in front of it so anyway you guys it was kind of I don't I don't scare easily but the way that the moon darkened it kind of I had uh, a surge of a lot of feelings like is this it or like something like something about to pop off here in the next you know few seconds this don't look right um so I stood there and I kind of waited for the moon to for whatever clouds that was covering the moon to move so that I just don't start for the lack of a better word panicking and I was just thinking oh this is it like <laughs> I can laugh now but it wasn't funny last night so I for, you know a few seconds later the moon started to look like it was coming out and I kind of had a sigh of relief because it seemed as if the whole sky was just starting to darken except for the white clouds that I saw still a little bit so I go inside and had just reflected on what I just saw for about you know span of about two or three minutes and I said to myself even so Lord Jesus please come quickly and it was kind of sombering and for whatever reason and I almost you know I just went in the house and I had other things in my mind you guys you know I want to make this video about first Corinthians and um I don't want to do it because I mean I I, I have to do it but I don't want I don't like to teach unless um I got all my ducks in a row and I, you know, I'm thinking about a couple things and so I go on and go to sleep and today on my way to work I watched two videos 
because uh, I'm grumpy and I'm what, supposed to be on a schedule and you know I just want to watch something uplifting and one of them was um, brother Mike's video and he's featuring a person who's talking about basically the exact same thing just the moon and the whole sky going dark and then us being raptured and later on in the video she just was reflecting on the fact that she knew that she was going to heaven but what about the people who aren't saved and last night um I'm not saying that that's going to be the sign of his coming, but last night I can relate to what she was describing with the moon and everything else going dark and having that sense of finality, like, oh my gosh, like time is up, uh, more people could have got saved or she didn't say it that way, but this is kind of how I was feeling last night. And I don't think it was a coincidence that she had a rapture dream. And my final thoughts was like, you know, Lord, whatever is your will, let it be done. But, but Lord, just Jesus, please come quickly. And even though I saw the moon come back out a little bit, but last night it was freaky and... I tend to blow things off, but this was too much of a coincidence. Um, and not only that, last night I had, <clears throat> I was thinking, oh gosh, this is the 3rd of July, tomorrow's the 4th of July, and I'm going to talk about the 4th of July and this and that, the solar eclipse of this and that. In my last video, I really had all those thoughts going through my mind, and to watch this video was very sobering so with all that said um, I'm gonna do what the Lord asked me to do and just an encouragement for everybody to continue to reach out to the lost souls because um, <clears throat> he's gonna come at a time where we don't expect them to come and it's just an encouragement for us to just do what we can the the work that he set in front of us on a daily basis because there are other people to be concerned about lost souls we know we're going but lost souls and that's how i felt last night that thing was in my chest like like maybe it was maybe it was in my spirit in hindsight <clears throat> being that I got this confirmation but and I was allowed to feel that but this thing was all in my chest I could just feel it you guys it was just so ominous looking and the way she described it was also a ominous feeling but of course then being raptured so I just want to share that with you guys I do have a list of things written down um, to share confirmations this thing about Rihanna, I guess I'll just tell you, she, her boyfriend is Saudi Arabian. I did finally go back to the video that I didn't watch. And he has ties with three countries <clears throat> with his business. He's an heir to their fortune, the family fortune, a car dealership, whatever. And they've mentioned Turkey, them having deep roots in Turkey. And, um... Africa and somewhere else is a few other things I want to add to that something that a sister shared with me in the last video that rang a bell with me and I'll talk about that later but I had to share this particular thing with you guys and I hope you guys have a safe uh, fourth uh, try to go out and enjoy myself but like I said I do have other videos to make God bless y'all and let's just continue to share Jesus the love of Jesus Christ with anybody that we can um, especially while we're among family members, as many of you guys will be today. All right, God bless you guys.